This model shows us the major structures of the digestive system. This is the esophagus emptying into the stomach. This is the cardiac sphincter, the fundus of the stomach, the body of the stomach, the pyloric region. You can see rugae or folds line the inner surface of the stomach. The pyloric sphincter is a strengthening of the muscle in this region, keeping the contents in the stomach until they're ready to be released. When they are released from the stomach, they pass into the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum. You can see other parts of the small intestine. The middle part is called the jejunum. The end of the small intestine is the ileum. So this is where the ileum or small intestine would empty into the large intestine. First part of the large intestine is the cecum. It's a blind pouch. Off of it is found the appendix. This is the ileocecal valve. This helps prevent material from leaving the small intestine until it's ready. The large intestine consists of an ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, a slightly curved S-shaped sigmoid colon, a rectum, and an anus. The accessory structures of the digestive system include the liver, gallbladder. In this case, this is the left lobe of the liver, the right lobe of the liver. The green structure is the gallbladder. Bile leaves the gallbladder through the cystic duct. It's produced by the liver, and it's released from the liver in the hepatic ducts, left and right hepatic ducts. The bile leaves both of these structures passing through the common bile duct. You can see it combining here with a pancreatic duct and releasing the material into the duodenum. So digestive enzymes released from the pancreas and bile released from the liver and gallbladder both enter the small intestine at the duodenum.